Evening everyone, CJ Peaceful. I just wanted to share something with you. Um, I was just uh, corresponding with another uh, user, a YouTube user uh, by the name of uh, Luther P40, uh, which I'm sure most of us are, are familiar with. Um, it's invented the famous Yahoo! measuring device, which uh, I think it's great. I think it's great. But uh, if you remember, recall, um, some time ago, uh, he started with the idea of using um, uh, screws to construct an HHO device. And uh, what appeared to be some pretty good results. And I, I apologize, Luther, for not... Uh, completely reviewing your videos, so I may be saying something here that uh, uh, may not necessarily be true, or maybe you have some answers to it already, and maybe I just need to go back and review them, but um, I always wondered about uh, neutral plates and their application as far as using a screw or a threaded rod type design, and if you could uh, use if you will, neutral rods or screws. And at first I thought, well, I, I guess it's possible. But then I started thinking about the electrical properties and um, and actually some of the, uh, the material makeup of the screw and its, its properties. And I started doubting that neutral screws or threaded rods can be used. Um, not to go into too much detail and bore you all, but uh, I just wanted to show you a few things that I've been kind of tinkering around with as far as screws and threaded rods. And just wanted to show you something, uh, a few little things I thought was kind of interesting. Um, as you can see there, I've got a Nice new little toy. Uh, uh, another good friend of mine, a YouTube user. Thanks, Bob. Um, steered me in the direction of this Craftsman uh, multimeter. Uh, found it uh, very useful, very handy. And uh, right now I've got it hooked up for amperage uh, for this cell. Um, as you can see, I've got uh, over here, this is my... Uh, my negative lead and over here this is my positive and I've got one neutral. Uh, what I've done is I took a piece of um, plexiglass and uh, drilled some holes and uh, threaded some um, threaded the holes so I could screw the, uh, the uh, threaded rods through and then attached a few um, stainless straps. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and I want you to look closely at the neutral screw, if you will. Let's see if we can zoom in tight here without getting too blurry. Kind of watch what happens. Good hydrogen and oxygen production from their respective electrodes. But nothing is happening at the neutral screw. I am pulling 2.8-ish or so amps through this cell currently. 2.9. It's climbing a little bit. It's probably, probably warming up some. But I still got nothing. So then I thought, well, maybe... Maybe they're not close enough. Oh, well, no. We're up to uh, almost 3.5 amps. Still climbing. I should be seeing something. But I'm not. So, let's try something else. A little different here. Let's add another neutral uh, threaded rod, if you will, and see what happens with that one. Okay. Now, I went ahead and incorporated another neutral rod. Uh, it is sort of off-centered between the negative and this neutral. Um, and it is in this direction about a quarter of an inch, so it's not exactly between the two, obviously. 
Let's turn this on and see what we get. Okay, as you can see, my amps are about the same. It looks like actually they're falling, which is what I expect. But there's still no production coming from the neutral rods. I think I know what's going on here. But I want to hear from you. I'll give you a small hint as to what I'm thinking. And uh, I think it has to do with shape. Oh, and one last thing. For those of you wondering if uh, having multiple negative leads is effective or not in gas production as far as hydrogen goes, yeah, watch that.